Across the country and here in our area, short-staffed police agencies are working to rebuild their rosters decimated by retirements, resignations, and lackluster recruiting. Departments are spending thousands of your dollars on sign-up bonuses just to get candidates in the door. But investigative reporter Ted Oberg and the News 4 I team found questions over whether the bonuses are enough to truly make a difference. Ted? Yeah, Sean and Jim, experts call what we're facing now a staffing crisis. Police chiefs say response times are up because of it, but the I-team is finding out if the cash on the line is solving, showing signs of solving either of these problems. Marissa Lopez. Marissa Lopez was sworn in as a police officer with the U.S. Capitol Police in February. My mom was crying, was trying not to cry. Her dad, a former Albuquerque, New Mexico police officer, that's him pinning on her badge. And I could see his his eyes were welling up, and then mine were too. The moment was big for Lopez, but maybe even bigger for the U.S. Capitol Police, which has added 100 officers this year as they rebound from January 6th. Police were already struggling to hire after high-profile incidents like the killing of George Floyd, many now offering five-figure signing bonuses to get new recruits, but Lopez said she didn't even consider them. I mean, I glanced at them, but it wasn't like the the thing that tipped it over to me making the decision. I don't think you could choose this job just for uh, monetary reasons. And neither did her fellow new officer, Salvatore Mergallo, a New Yorker who looked at police departments up and down the East Coast before joining the Capitol Police. And they don't offer a bonus to rookies at all. I just felt the, the culture and the environment of the Capitol Police was... It was different. In our region, signing bonuses start as low as $3,000 in Arlington County, but rise to as much as twenty grand in Montgomery County in D.C. But as you heard from those new Capitol Police officers, they cared more about the culture of the department than the cash they'd get to sign up, begging the question, do these incentives even work? An I-team analysis of local police hiring shows something is working. In Prince George's County, data shows hiring is up since signing bonuses began in 2021. Hiring is up in Fairfax, too, and is on pace to exceed even last year's totals since its bonus was approved last fall. But hiring in next door Arlington County was down last year from the year before, even with their $3,000 bonus taking effect last summer. In D.C., Police Chief Robert Conti says the money has helped some we saw recruitment uh, jump up about, uh, interest jump up about 24%. But admitted under council questioning last month, it hasn't been enough to offset resignations and retirements. In the first four months of this fiscal year, the first with the bonus in place, D.C. lost more than twice as many officers as it hired. Conti told council fewer police officers means each of them are answering more calls and taking longer to do it now almost two minutes longer for the most serious calls than in 2019. The chief knows the need. He's just not certain he can hit hiring targets. I'm very concerned about it. You know, we got our other surrounded mm -hmm. jurisdictions with a lot of the same incentives in place. When all the departments are also offering bonuses, they sort of negate each other. Chuck Wexler studies police departments across the country with the Police Executive Research Forum. He's skeptical of anyone solely motivated by bonuses. Anyone who takes this job just for the money is probably not going to be the best applicant. But is it the best use of a, of a dollar in a police budget? Here's the issue, Ted. I mean, right now you have a staffing crisis, so you don't have the luxury of deciding what's the best. Which is why Fairfax Deputy Police Chief Brooke Wright says her department is focused on targeting recruitment events. This one aims to increase women in their ranks. What we try to tell them today is not only do we, we want to see that you're a good fit for us, we want to make sure we're a good fit for you. Because in the end, she says it's not about having enough cops, but having the right ones. We just want a good person who wants to do right. We'll make a cop out of them when they get here. We'll make a cop out of them when they get there, she says. Just last week in D.C., Mayor Bowser unveiled her new budget, suggesting nearly five and a half million more dollars headed towards these bonuses. They are pushing hard, Jim and Sean, to make sure that they can grow that department so desperately in need of people. What we heard from several departments, though, is echoes what you heard from those mm -hmm. Capitol Police officers. It's things like culture and personal connection to the recruiter that makes the difference in times like this. And you don't want them doing it for the money, like you pointed out. Right. A absolutely. Money is, at the end of the day, a, a caring police officer is far more important than, than a little bit of money just to show up. It's got to be about that, that, that love for the job and the and community, community they're serving. Absolutely. Great right. work. Ted, Ted thank, thank you. You, you bet.